Hey guys, so this is Down the Drain on Hard, done Naps and the Lives Lost. I realized I hadn't actually made a video on this map besides an Apocalypse one, so I figured, you know, I'd give it a try. Now I know that Naps Frills isn't possible on this, so I was thinking I'll just do Naps and the Lives Lost. That'll be super easy, right? Because, you know, you can use farms and road spikes and you can sell, you just have so many options. It'll be nice and easy. Well, yeah, it wasn't. Um, it took me way longer than I'd like to admit. And I really abused that save function. You can see I saved probably like every other round. Kind of sad. But that's what I did. And I did manage to do it even though it's super sloppy. Because towards the end you'll see that uh, I was just buying and reselling a whole bunch of abilities. And that's kind of a lame thing to do. But it still works in the end. And I kept it no lives lost somehow. I was actually surprised because I was thinking about giving up towards the end. Because I was like holy crap. I actually did not farm enough because I got super overconfident and was thinking, who needs to farm that much? I'll just farm a little bit. And then I didn't have enough money in the later rounds and I kind of got screwed over. But somehow I managed to do it. It took me a lot of trying and I was a little upset with myself because I was like, wow, you suck at this game. But hey, I did it and that's all that matters to me. I think. So uh, this map down the drain is really hard. It's the hardest expert map for sure. So there's that. Um, it's not even possible Naps Frills on normal mode, however someone did do it on reverse but this map is I would say quite a bit easier on reverse because um, having just like it's kinda converges towards the middle so the late game would be a lot easier because there's like you know only two paths but I mean I don't know like uh, I just did it on normal because I thought well, I'll need a challenge, right? Because this map's not hard enough. I don't want to do it on reverse, so I'll just do it on normal mode. Yeah, well, I really regret that decision. Anyway, as far as the strategy, uh, you know, just get a bunch of farms. You can see I actually farmed quite a bit in the early rounds, but then I kind of just gave up on it. I was like, huh, that's good enough for me, right? Um, just use the dart monkeys, uh, sniper, the ninjas, you know, all the good towers, pretty much. Actually, I never, I didn't use a cluster bomb. I usually use cluster bombs a ton, but I didn't actually use that in this one. I used the glue gunners in the beginning. And also the subs aren't as good when you're not in reverse because they're kind of going away from the balloons, which makes it kind of weird. And, you know, because if they're going towards it, then the dart doesn't have to, like, catch up with them. And so it's a lot harder, easier to lose lives. Yeah, I think that's the correct crazy in there. Anyway, you'll see a whole bunch of like, not cuts, well yeah, cuts, because I cut out all the parts where I die, because there was a lot of them. Um, I saved so many times, it's kind of sad. And then, yeah, so that's that. What else am I going to talk about? Um, as far as BTD5, I'm not sure how many more like things I'm, I have to do. I know BTD6, I mean Ninja Kiwi's kept it like pretty secret about BTD6. You can check out like their blog posts on the website and that's where they usually up or you know give info about BTD6 or something like that. I don't know man, why am I talking so like stupidly? Well, you know, don't answer that. But yeah, um, usually people ask like about BTD6. I'm leaving this in. I don't know why. I could just re-record it but you know how much extra work that is? Dude, I am not that skilled at talking. It would take me like a bajillion tries to make me sound smart. So I'm not doing that, Psh, you know. Um, so like I was saying, they ask about BT6 pretty much every week. And they give the same answer so far, which is we're not ready to like uh, unveil uh, information yet. They say it's supposed to come out later this year, but I don't know about that. I mean, usually you start at least like having snapshots not snapshots, who uses that word, like pictures or something of at least the game by now. It's only six months to go, right? Um, so BD5, I imagine, is really going to die out super fast. I mean, it's already kind of a dead game. Um, not really too many people play it anymore, maybe just a few for the daily challenges. I don't know why I'm still playing it, honestly. I was just like, I'm going to make videos on it, cool, because I haven't done that before, kind of. So that's what I'm doing on this. This might be the last BTD5 video. I don't know. Um, at least, I've done all the expert maps, I think, or have I? I'm trying to, no, actually, I do remember I did Castle, Naps Frills, and then I deleted the video. I don't know why. Um, that was kind of a mistake. I did it on Reverse as well, because I thought it'd be cooler. Like, Castle on Reverse is really weird, because the beginning path, it's like two separate balloons on one path. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should just play it yourself. Um, anyway, these later rounds, 
So I thought it would be super easy because, you know, I farmed and everything. But <laughs> I didn't really farm that much because I kind of gave up on it, like I said. And then I figured these, like, you know, having so many towers to just make things easy. But the four paths, man, they are crazy because there's some RNG involved as well. I have no idea why, but sometimes, like, you know, the ninja would just sometimes miss, like a pink balloon. And then you'd lose lives and then you'd just have to start over. Good thing the save button is there, but still. Oh, by the way, I ranked up. Rank 79. That's pretty cool, right? It's probably the last time I'll ever rank up. Never reached that magical 80. I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, I used the Hydro Rocket par Pards. Okay, well, we'll just go with that. Um, two, three dart lanes. Pretty good, um, especially since you can aim them yourself and at least that takes uh, some pressure off like the no lives lost thing because you're in control of your own uh, own fate right that's always a good thing to do even if you completely fail then you can only blame yourself but that's not how people do things are you kidding me they'll always find other things to blame that's how life works so i don't know why i went with dartlings honestly or subs subs honestly not that great on this map when you're not in reverse I think they're kind of overrated. Also, I misplaced my villages completely. I didn't even put them in range of the subs. I was such an idiot. I was like, I, I didn't think apparently ahead at all. You know, you should be doing that. It's like chess, man. You gotta think ahead, right? But I don't. That's why I'm terrible at chess, I imagine. Anyway, these later rounds, so 77 to 85, took me just as long just to probably get there. Because now it's all like microing and timing. Oh god, I became super familiar with all the rounds, because normally I don't count like how many BFBs there are or anything, but now I had to know, because I was using Ground Zeroes and a whole bunch of other abilities, and it was getting kind of chaotic. Um, I thought I would just be able to beat it normally, you know, with towers and not abilities, but it turns out I didn't have enough money for that, so you can see I'm just selling everything. Gotta get the 2-3 villages. The 3-2 ice, they take care of all the popping power. I honestly couldn't figure out something just to pop like rainbows. The grouped regrow rainbows. What do you use, like a cheap tower, to pop that? The only thing that I could think of was Arctic Wind, and that's like the only thing that worked. And I did some stupid things here, like Moab Assassin, um, which was dumb of me because I could have just used like, I don't know, the boat like I do here. But for some reason I didn't think about that. Why would I be thinking about money saving I nearly ran out of money like round 83 you'll see right here no this is round 82 my bad but round 83 I had to actually sell the ninja just to buy a ground zero so that's how close this was I can't believe I actually managed to pull it off but somehow I did it was eh, it was a bit satisfying because it took me a lot of tries a lot of tries that it shouldn't have still but it, I did it somehow, and round 84, luckily, there's like no ceramics or anything, so that actually makes this round quite a bit easier with just abilities. And then 85's a joke, because of subs. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.